Queen has kindly agreed to the dissolution of Parliament and a general election will take place on May the 6th. For many of our students uh, here at White College, this is going to be the first time that they've had the opportunity to vote for their local MP. A few weeks ago, uh, prior to Gordon Brown calling the election, we had four of the candidates who are going to be standing in the whole North constituency in for a hustings uh, to discuss their policies and to answer questions by some of our students. Um, it's really tricky because politics has been the same for a long time and changing anything in it is always going to be problematic. And to attract younger students to, young students to get more interested, there's not much they can do other than changing their policies to, to represent the young, younger students. Otherwise, not, they're not going to care, they're not even going to bother voting because the stuff that they do in, are in the policies just don't even bother them. Well, I think there's a very clear commitment from my party to young people. So, for instance, we've invested hugely in education. We've brought in the EMA, which is so important to young people here. And also, we've given a guarantee to youngsters leaving school and college that if they're out of work, they will get um, training opportunities after six months. So we recognise the importance of young people and making, giving them a chance. That's the main thing. I believe that young people should vote in the next general election as we live in a democracy so everyone should participate to make it a full democracy. And also events in the country at the moment are most affecting young people such as the war in Iraq and Afghanistan. The reason I became involved in the Conservative Party, I'm not a professional politician, but I came in, uh, on board because I'm passionate about jobs for the future for the young people. And Hull has a fantastic um, array of uh, opportunities that aren't actually being backed up by central government. And, um, and my, my role is to actually make aware those down in Westminster what fantastic opportunities we have here because we must increase the opportunity for young people to get a job. Aspiration of a job at the end of education is actually fundamental to any success of the, of the future of the city. If they introduce a different party like the Conservative Party contrasts to the Labour Party, it will have bigger effects than I think a lot of people realise. Well, the key thing, I think, for young people is fairness and education. And the most important thing for me is that we oppose tuition fees. I think it's completely wrong that young people should struggle through university uh, and then find themselves saddled with 10, 15, 20,000 pounds worth of debt. That is a tax on education. Now, we've looked at our spending priorities um, and we believe that if we cut things that we we don't think we need, like Trident Nuclear Missile System, for example, uh, that we can reinvest that money into abolishing tuition fees and giving students effectively tax-funded tertiary education, which is exactly what the government ministers who abolished it got. It's what I got, uh, and I think the country needs to invest in its young people. Young people really should vote because everything affects them and they're the future for society, and they need to really be more involved as everything just affects them and in the future they've really got to someone asked to anywhere. I think most people vote for us in the Green Party because they understand what's going on at a global level rather than just a, a parish or a city level and that really makes a difference whether it's world poverty and then how it reflects in British poverty or whether it's the use of say industrial uh, fertilizers in agriculture across the world compared to industrial agriculture here compared to organic agriculture and the sort of uh, future we'd like to see in that direction when it comes to things like justice we're extremely uh, keen on social justice within Britain rather than the massive inequality we have now and on justice across the world rather than half our global population going, uh, having to exist on, on less than two dollars a day. Given the fact that at the last general election in 2005 only 61 percent of the people in this country uh, bothered to turn out to vote, it's very important that we do expose our students to the sort of politics of the real world and we offer politics here as a subject which enables students to become much more actively involved if they want to. It's also very good for those students who actually don't do the subject because they actually see students here uh, involved in studying 
politics both in Britain and in America.